morning. Today is June 18th, 2021, and Friday in the 11th week in Ordinary Time. On behalf of St. Juliana Falconeri Catholic Church in Fullerton, California, we welcome you this morning and thank you for joining us both online and here in church this morning. The Mass reading today can be found online at stjulianachurch.org. We invite you to visit this website frequently for parish updates and faith formation resources. Now we invite you to prayerfully participate as Father Michael Pontarelli celebrates the Mass. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've gathered together to celebrate the mystery of God's love for us. Let us remember the way that we praise the Lord for all the good that comes to us, and the bad as well, and give thanks. For the times we've turned away from the Lord to our treasures in in our closets and on earth, we ask pardon and redirection. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame I say that we were too weak, but what anyone dares to boast of, I'm speaking in foolishness, I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I'm talking like an insane person. I'm still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and numerous brushes of death. Five times at the hands of the Jews, I received 40 lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. 
I passed a night and a day on the deep, on frequent journeys and dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among false brothers, in toil and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is led to sin, am I not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response this morning is, from all their distress, God rescues the just. From, from all, all their, their distress, distress God, rescues God rescues the just. The just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lap of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be filled in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Pause and think for a moment of what do you boast? Go to the favorite little story, The Little Prince. So the prince goes home and says, Mom, Dad, I've just made a friend. And the parents say, Oh, how big is the house? What does his father do? And the little prince says, I don't know any of those things. One thing I do know, he collects butterflies. At least, what do you boast? The car that's in the garage, the cars, plural, that are in the garage in the driveway, or the way that you use them to come to Mass, and that the church is open and available to you. Of what do you boast, the jewelry you have or the Eucharist that you receive? And if you receive the Eucharist as an object, why are you boasting at all? For the Eucharist is not an object, it's the real presence of the Lord. Let us pause and think, what do we say during the day? Oh God, it's so hot. Or praise the Lord, I live in Southern California, I could be in Hayes, Kansas. Of what do we say during the day? Good for you. The Lord is with you. And the, then your response immediately, well, and also with you. No, good for you. The Lord is with you. And yes, together, let us pause and say a prayer of thanksgiving that we found a parking space or that we found what we needed at, at Costco and came, only, and came out only with what we needed and not a whole cart full of stuff that we didn't even think we wanted. 
pause for a moment and boast in the way that the Lord guides you and your life and your family. And then maybe pause in prayer. St. Paul asks, if we're going to boast at all, let us boast in the Lord. And the Lord says, if you're going to have treasures, why not store up treasures in heaven? I can speak plenty well for the way that moths come in and destroy. Since I moved to Fullerton, one of my religious habits, the wool one, has been completely eaten in the bottom by carpet beetles, so I suppose. Not to mention a woolen coat has huge holes in it now. Moths aren't very much good. I don't praise the Lord for them. God bless. Acknowledging our weakness before the Lord, we humbly bring him our petitions. That holy church may continue to grow in holiness and grace under the counsel of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that God may give elected officials wisdom in enacting legislation to protect the sanctity of all human life from conception through natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those afflicted by physical, mental, or spiritual suffering may find consolation in God's loving presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord that this and all communities of faith will be guided in all things by Christ's light shining around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord For Edward de Gallo and all who have died, that they may be in the heavenly treasure of our Father. For all who are ill, that God's hand will heal them. For everyone for whom we've promised to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord God. Almighty God, in your abundant generosity, grant these prayers we've brought before you. We ask them to you through your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, today and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer to you, fruits of the vines, works of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Our table is ready now. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your holy sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, 
whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabo, Plene Sucele et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venet in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with saints Juliana and Peregrine and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Greet each other with the peace of Christ. Agnus Dei, hui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, hui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Cui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Thus says the Lord, Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. And for those not able to physically receive the Holy Eucharist this morning, as a community, we offer this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Our prayer to St. Joseph. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go and glorify the Lord by the way we live our lives. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exulis filieve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale, ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, nos converte, et Jesum benedictum frontum ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O claimants, O pia, O 